Hi guys, here we are on Terrasa Stella Torre. We're going to be looking at a ground floor phase two, two bed apartment here. Um, just starting you off by the kind of lift area. Um, obviously it's a ground floor, you won't need the lift, but just to give you an idea, you've got a little path out there to the, to the golf course. Uh, you've got obviously your lift here and your stairs up and down to the other floors, as you can see. Of course, we're coming straight off the ground floor. You can see where these cars are parked here. Uh, you've actually got a car parking space that actually comes with this one as well. So just uh, up here a little bit. The property we're going to be looking at is just one in from the corner. So just into the property we go. So as we come in, you'll be familiar with the layouts, I'm sure, guys. Um, very similar uh, to everything else on the phase twos. They're all very much the same. As you come in, you've got your kitchen to your left-hand side. You can see, as normal, your space for your fridge freezer. Uh, you've got your extractor in. The oven and the hob are actually missing on this one. Um, of course, it does come as, as seen. And then you've got your space just under the sink there for your dishwasher. Uh, space for the washing machine outside, but of course you could put the washing machine in here if you prefer. Again, you can see all the full ceilings on this area of the hallway, the kitchen, and then just going into the lounge, and then it actually rises up, as you'll see there. So any kind of light fittings on the full ceiling, of course, spotlights and things like that. So front door that we come in, just behind the door, fuse box, buzzer system, and also down there you've got your router. Um, for the internet, it's just where your router just literally pops in here. Nice large reception area. Generally set out for your TV to go on the right hand side. Look down at the plugs down here. And then the left hand side, usually the sofa would go, and then if you wanted a dining table, usually just kind of in front of the counter space, most people put them. Of course, you can, you can lay them out how you wish, that's just the way that they tend to come out. Um, also with the TV points being where they are, but of course you can get them switched, that's no problem at all. Up here you've got the pre-installation cap for the air conditioning, so that just pops off. If you wanted AC, the unit just pops in, all the plumbing and power is already in there. Got these nice big double doors out here to the terrace and the garden, which we'll look at last. So I'm just gonna continue our little walk about here. You've got this little arch area, that's where both the bedrooms and the bathroom come off. So I'm gonna start you off on the guest bedroom to the right. You can see there your plugs are in the middle, so a single bed inside, uh, bedside table in the middle is how it's been set up. Then you've got these original windows here just for privacy at the front. You can of course get a double in here, no problem. Got these nice big double built in wardrobes here as well. As you'd expect, close round the shell at the top. TV points just down here. And then of course, just above the door, that air conditioning cap. So again, all pre-installed in the bedrooms as well. Good sized bedroom. As we go out back into the little corridor, you've got a shot right, you've got the family bathroom, everything you'd expect, toilet, sink, and you've got a three quarter bath here with the shower just above it. And then next along, you've got the master bedroom. This has got double doors out to that terrace and garden as well. You can see there where it's set up, double locking in the middle, bedside table each side. Again, you would get two singles if you prefer. TV points opposite, just down the bottom here. Again, you've got that nice big double wardrobe. As you'd expect. And then again, just above the door, as the, per the other bedroom, you've got the uh, air conditioning cap there, so that just pops off again. AC can just be put in there. All the pre-installation is in. And of course you can get out through them doors into the terrace and garden. Just going to have a quick recap through the property. Um, and then we'll head out to the garden area. Just to note as well, this one also comes with its own covered parking space. Only the ground floors uh, have that actually. Ground floors and top floors. So as we come out of the master, bathroom to the left. Straight up you've got the guest bedroom and then you turn into the nice large reception, open plan kitchen. It's the main door there on the left that we came in. Really good size. 
This one very much about this uh, this terrace and garden. As you can see, comes out. You've got this nice terraced area, nice tiled area. You've got the utility cupboard here, which is where your washing machine would go. So your boiler's actually just in here, and your washing machine would actually go down here. So someone's put a lilo in there, but that's where your washing machine would go. Nice terrace. This is into the bedroom, of course, into the master bedroom. But this one, you've also got this extra garden. So of course, most of these would basically end here. This would be your terrace area. But this one, you've got this extra garden as well. Loads of space. You can see the sun's on it. Good thing about these, they poke out, so you're gonna get a lot more sunshine. The swimming pool is just a uh, block up. So I'm not sure if this will show, but if I zoom up here, if you can see the little railings there, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's actually where the pool is. So the pool's just, I don't know what that'd be, 150 meters or so. And then of course, this is front line onto the golf. So a really nice position. You can see here that nice big garden area. Perfect guys, that concludes our tour. Please come back to Holly if you have any questions. I would expect this one to be gone very, very quickly. So if you're interested, I would definitely look at reserving it ASAP. Thank you.